Hello, my sexy muffins, and welcome back to another video. In this video, we are doing a has been hotel one, which has won the votes, obviously, at this point because you're seeing it right now. But it is till death with Yandere Valentina, and we're going to be doing a time skip where it goes to the night that Valentina and you, the listener, died. You are the listener, our male listener, who was her husband in human life, and it will be her husband eventually in death and hell. So, yes, let's do this. Disclaimer, Valentina is not Yandere in canon and is not female in canon, but is Valentino. And this is an AU with obviously not canon and is just for fun and not to be taken seriously. Obviously, Yandere's and people like Valentina are not uh, good partners to have, but it is fine to simp for them and simp for fictional characters and fictional Yandere's. Just do not be illegal or gross about it or and separate headcanon from canon and separate fiction from reality. Thank you. And please respect the canon and remember Hasbin Hotel is an LGBT show. Yes, there's literally lesbians and asexuals and aromantic possibly. Yes, it's a show for the gays and for mature audience. So if you are not 18 years or older, you should not be watching this video at all either. But if you are, please be respectful and know that this is just for fun and not to be taken seriously. It is not okay for Yandere's. No. Anyways, let's do this. It is the 70s and you were home alone with your daughter. Your wife was out at work again. You being a stay-at-home husband and loving your life of luxury and power was great. You go down to the wine cellar, but there was something odd. Something was missing. You didn't know what, but that's when you see out of the corner of your eye a high-tech security door. You rarely came down to the cellar. The staff mostly came down, but you gave them the day off so they could spend time with their families. It was New Year's and your wife would be home soon, so you decided to go into the cellar and get some wine for you to spend the night together since she decided not to do a grand party this time. You go to the security door and see the code on the door. You push it in and the door opens. When you entered, you were horrified at what you saw. Multiple cells of women and men beaten and battered line in the walls of the cellar of the inner chamber of the cellar. You will stare in horror. They beg you for help, screaming at you for, to help them, to let them out. You did not know, but then it suddenly clicked. All the women, because some of these women were the women your wife supposedly helped get settled, and some of her, the men she helped get settled as well. She had been human trafficking them. The beaten and bruises and bite marks showed truly what happened to them. You were disgusted. You ran out, them screaming for you to come. Your wife must have had an alarm system on the security door. So you ran up to the stairs to get your daughter. But first, you had to call the police. You called the police and told them what you had found. You then got your daughter ready to go and told her to stay put while you get, while you get the uh, gun from your wife's office just in case. You go there, get the gun. Then you hear her come in. She is angry. She is livid. She stares at you hard. What do you think you're doing, your name? She says. You stare at her and clench your fist, the gun in your hand. Valentino, let me go. You say, and she looks at you. I cannot do that, your name. You are mine. And if you think I'm going to let you leave me for some worthless whores, she says, referring to the people that were down there, they are not that. They are human beings, you state, raising your voice. And she narrowed her eyes, pulling out her own gun. Well, if you think I'm going to let you leave me, you have another thing coming. She went to pull the trigger, but you pulled yours at the same time. The guns both go off. And you are both hit in the stomach. You fall to the ground and she brings her body over to you. You hit her in the stomach as well. She is bleeding out and she leans down and kisses you. You're on the floor and she lays her body on you. You killed me, honey. 
We're both going to hell. You've damned us both to hell. And it is all your fault. I will see you in hell. I don't care how long it takes. I don't care what I have to do. I will have you again. And you will be mine forever. She says and kisses you. Slowly you blacked out, bleeding out. With your wife bleeding out on top of you. Valentina swore to have you again. She didn't care what she had to do. She would have you. Time skip a couple of decades. It is the 1990s. Your name, you have settled in a life simple and just living undercover. Your daughter grew, probably grew up being hated as the daughter of a human trafficker. You cannot live with the guilt that you had your daughter on the human world be left alone forever. You should have just left when you had the chance instead of getting in the gun. You had deep regrets for it. You look out the window of your car as you pull into your office. You had to do another day's of work. It was nothing too hard, but you were not going to give up. You walked into your office, a simple nine to five job with basic work, nothing too hard, nothing too hard. You then sniff the air. It smelled sickeningly sweet and almost memorizing. That is when you open your door to your office. And there was Valentina sitting at your desk, her robe open, showing off her lingerie. Well, you think you could get away from me? Two decades is way too long, honey, she says and pulls out her gun. Get in here, she says, and you have no choice. You see that she has holy bullets. If there was any chance of getting back to your daughter, you know that you would die here and you would never see your daughter again. You step in and close the door. Good boy, she says to you. Your name. You have been a bad boy, but you can be a good boy for me, can't you? She says patronizingly, referring to your wolf form that you have. Your red eyes narrow on her and your black fur ruffles a bit in agitation. Don't call me that, you growl at her. Oh, I'll call you whatever I want. You're the one who brought us here, after all. And two decades of hiding is enough. Of course, I will always be able to find you, sweetheart. Now, we're going to discuss things very soon. But first, get over here. She ordered. You had no choice. You walked over and she stood up to her full height. She was still taller than you in human life, but even more taller than you in death, even though you were very large, wolfman type as well. She grabs you and kisses you, her mouth pressed into your muzzle, and you wanted to bite her, but you had no choice. She had the gun pressed to your chest. You would die, and you were not going to die for good for her. No, she was nothing to you right now, but you missed her. Your body yearned for her even after all this time, and you reluctantly kissed your ex-wife back, sealing your fate. Anyways, I hope that you all enjoyed. If there is anything else you would like to see in this mini series, comment below and I will be my do my best to edit to add it all in so you guys can see it and all that. And yes, it, wait, wait till the end of the video for the playlist and suggested videos at the end for more content of Hasman Hotel and Valentina and such. Check out the end of the video and all that. And uh, yes, I hope that you all enjoyed this Patreon outro. Thank you, Gav, Imp, uh, uh, Gav for being my first patron. You are fabulous and wonderful. And I will commission you as soon as possible. It's just, it's really tight right now. And thank you, Wicked Brony, for being my second patron. You are also just as fabulous as Gav. Mwah. Anyways, I hope that you all enjoyed this. And if you would like to see more of this mini series, comment below what you would like to see. Again, do that. Check out videos at the end of the thing and all that. Check that out. And yes, uh, yes, all that good jazz and such. Anyways, uh, remember to stay until the end of the video if you can. If not, I understand. And secret outro at the end. Hopefully you guys will notice it. Uh, yes. And yeah, I think that's it. Stay sexy on my sexy muffins. Bye-bye.
Dee, 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 dee. Secret outro, secret outro time. So in this secret outro, we are going to do Would You Smash Valentina from this mini series? If she was real, my answer is heck yes. She is like a tumor as well as Valentino that is inoperable and is latched onto me where I need her to thrive and I will have her because she is queen, she is bae, she has caught us. Yes, I'd smash. Would you smash Valentina from this mini series? Comment below if you would. Yes or no. You would smash or not smash or just say smash smash so i know or pass if you want it thank you and stay sexy all my sexy muffins Bye bye